Welcome to episode number 9 of the Slate Aspire tutorial series. In this episode, we will finally create our first card effect. Let's go! Let's first create the effect class in the models folder. The effect will be an abstract class that will have an abstract get game action method. This method will return a game action. Each effect will know how to create a game action for its effect. The effect will be editable in the inspector and will also hold the data for the effect and later things like the targeting mode. This way we can set up the effects in the inspector for each card and when a card is played later, the effect just creates a game action that can be used to perform the effect. To be able to edit it in the inspector, we need the system serializable attribute at the top. In our card data, we can now create a list of effects for each card. And while this looks good, it will actually not work in the inspector. Unity is at the moment not able to serialize abstract classes, but I have a solution for this. We need a little package that will help with this. The serialize reference package will allow us to set things like this in the inspector. If you have the Odin Inspector, you can use that as well. To use the package, we now just have to change the serialize field to a serialize reference and add a sr attribute from the package. That's actually it. It will now be shown in the Inspector. But as you can see, there are no effects at the moment. Let's create our first real effect in the Effects folder. The draw cards effect. It inherits from effect and implements the abstract method. We also will need a serialize field variable here so that we can set the draw amount in the inspector. Inside the method, we just create the draw cards game action, pass it the draw amount, and return it. Now whenever a card with this card data is played, the game will know how to convert the effect into a game action. In Unity, let's create another card data. Let's be creative and call it Draw. We now give it a description and mana cost. We also give it a sprite. And I must admit that I have forgotten to add the sprite for this card, so let's just take the fireball sprite here. Or feel free to create a known sprite if you want. In the effects list, we can now add our new effect. With the plus, you can now chain as many effects as you want here. In the card script, we have to create a new property as well that will return our effects from the data. We also need another game action, the perform effects game action. It will only hold the effect we want to perform. In the card system in our play card performer, we now can iterate through each effect and create a perform effect game action for each effect. It is important here that you do not use the perform method, but the add reaction method, because we already are in another performer. If we want to perform a game action inside another game actions performer, we always have to use the add reaction method. This way, we can now add all game actions for all the effects as reaction. And after this performer is done, our action system will take all the reactions and perform them. The last thing we need is the effect system. We create it in the systems folder and also attach it to a new game object in our scene. The effect system will hold the performer for the perform effect game action.
We also have to attach and detach it as always. The performer itself will just create a game action from our effect with the get game action method. It then also adds the new game action as reaction to the action system. Here again, add reaction and not perform. We also have a yield return null because we actually have nothing here that we want to wait for because the reactions are performed after this performer. In the match setup script, we have to add our new card to the deck. In play mode, you can now play the draw card and it will draw two cards. Awesome. The fireball does nothing at the moment, but we will change that in the future. In the next episode, we will add our mana system so that our cards are not free. If you enjoy the series, please leave a like or a sub. Thank you for watching and see you next time.